What's up guys, Echo and Bushcraft here and today I am doing another vlog. This is vlog number three. Uh, vlog number four, which is the one in the Lake District, will be coming out very, very soon. Uh, so yeah, that's coming out very soon. Uh, now, today is kind of a reveal episode of the vlog uh, like series because if you can see behind me, I have an ice of gun. Yes. Uh, and Today I will be revealing what airsoft gun it is. Uh, so yeah, um, but before we do that, uh, I've got s lots of stuff to re not review, but like um, do make videos about. Uh, one thing I need to review is the Neutron Mesh Mask. Uh, another video which will be coming out soon is my loadout video because I have my plate carrier. Oh, well, that's good. So that's, so that's a that's a really good plate carrier. Uh, uh, and a review will be coming out on the base model of that it's very soon. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah. The re so yeah. <laughs> um, so here we are. Here we are. Yeah. The gun um, that I have here in my hands is the GNG Combat Machine CM16 Raider. So. The Combat Machine CM16 Raider, this is an AEG which can run on LiPo, yeah, and it can balance on its stock apparently, didn't know that, um, and the mag currently in it, they are, I've got one in my plate code, let me just check, yeah, a review will be coming out on these mags as well, these mags are, am I weird, a m o e b a b <laughs> A-M-O-E-B-A arms so I'm not sure how you pronounce that um, but yeah uh, hopefully a firing test of these mags will be coming out soon the reason these mags are really good because they've got built in mag pull loops so in my JPC, the Viper JPC uh, when they're in the, like, the slots in built in the front you can basically just pull the arsenic off and pull them out with like the ring the mag pull system which is built into it which is really neat. Um, yeah. Uh, more about the gun. Now here we are. <laughs> My PC's just um, got me an alert, so, or something. I'm not really bothered about it. Cause, yeah. Um, here we are. We've got uh, one of the two uh, Amobra mags. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Then you've got a Sindre flashlight, which is a really bright flashlight. You've got strobe mode. Uh, which is a really good, but I just have to, and then I've got, uh, yeah, but yeah, that's a button push, which is good for me, because uh, I'm not a big fan, I, well, I've never tried it, to be honest, one of those pressure, like, switches, where you push on it, like, and it's, you, and you hold it down for, like, a certain amount of time, and then that's, like, it, like, it strobes for that amount of time or something, or whatever about that, um, but, yeah, uh, I'm not a big fan of, well, I've never tried it, anyways, this is a button push flashlight, so just click that button there. Uh, I know all about that. Uh, and the reason I have it positioned there is because I have a f angled foregrip there. Now I'm not a big fan of vertical foregrips because they just like it make it's quite uncomfortable for my wrist. I don't know why, but personally I prefer like um, angled foregrips uh, for that. Um, I think the FPS like out of the box. This is an out of the box rifle, apart from. The this this and the flashlight. Oh, and the sling on it. The sling on this is the Viper single point sling, uh, and I, I will review that as well because uh, it's a good. Sl it's a really good sling. Yeah. Um, <laughs> balancing on its stock, which I never knew it could do, which is cool. Uh, also, I need to do a review on the ASG speedloader. It's, it's like a cheap ASG speedloader, which I need to do a review on. So yeah. That's basically um, that. Um, now, the reason I haven't been recording like for a couple of weeks is because a my studio hasn't been set up and it's like a real pain to set up. So that's why I record them in bulk and upload them in bulk. Um, so yeah. Um, B uh, and this is the main reason because the camera's memory, which I use to do the all like the proper reviews in my studio. Uh, it's like its memory's full up, so I uh, yeah I haven't been able to record 
Um, so like tomorrow. Oh yeah, tomorrow I've got a like site for my combat machine coming, which is cool. Uh, it is a. Uh, I can't remember the site. I'm sure. Uh, but it's like a thirty-four pound site. Um, so yeah, so thirty-four pounds of Amazon. There will be an unboxing about that t tomorrow. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's basically what this vlog was about. Um, a the reveal about my gun, uh, and B it's just like um, the reason I haven't been uploading for a couple of weeks. Also, um, next weekend I am heading out to buy. Uh, I'm heading out to buy a pistol and a holster, uh, which I'm pretty excited about. That's going to be coming out next weekend. There will also be a in-depth review on this this um, plate carrier and yeah, effectively the pistol and the holster. And then there will be a loadout video coming out because of that and the pistol and the holster. That's what I need to complete my loadout. So, yes, um, that's basically the lineup for the next couple of weeks on those videos. So, yeah, uh, I am going to try and make weekly videos, even if they're just vlogs. I'm going to try and make weekly videos. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's my challenge for, yeah, um, yeah, so that's my challenge effectively to make weekly videos. Um, and yeah, uh, and do a lot more reviews and just general and so yeah. Uh, if you want to see more vlogs and me to continue this series, make sure you smash that like button, uh, destroy the subscribe button, make sure you don't destroy, destroy a screen, otherwise you won't be able to watch Echo and Bushcraft anymore. Uh, yeah, so yeah, and also make sure to ring the bell button so you get notified when all the content on my channel comes out. Thanks guys for watching, Echo on Bushcraft, signing out.